Right, I've actually got on the path going up that other side of that valley now. Earlier I came down from the top of the hill over there, there's a an indentation, see that there? Where's my finger? Anyway, over there, I came down that little narrow track to a wood there. And I went on the Coleridge Way for a little while, which is the bottom of here. And the Coleridge Way carries on down and round and follows all the curves all around. I just zoom in there, I thought I might have seen a deer then. A minute. Not sure. Something orange stuck out. Yeah, it might not be. Yeah, the Coleridge Walk follows the contours. And my plan is to get higher back back up. Um, I didn't Smith's Coombe. That's called. You, there is a nice walk, which I'll do another time. There's a walk up through that valley. Probably very very pretty, I should imagine, and sheltered, and probably with a stream. That's something I'll do another time. There's a valley here. There's lots of these indentations. And like I said, with the Coleridge Walk, you walk further in many ways. Because you're uh, in and out, up and down, in and around. <laughs> I had a feeling there would be a walk on this side of the bank, up high. And I haven't got far to go before I'm up the top, I don't think. So a lot of climbing. But like I say, I don't lose weight. I can be out for seven, eight hours walking. And I don't overeat. It's not like I'm stopping at a, a pub and having steak and chips and a, and a cream cake. I just have enough sustenance fruit bar, fruit. I've got cheese and an apple. But whether I allow the apple, the cheese, I mean, I doubt it. Because with the cheese, it does give me real bad indigestion, actually. You always know when you come down, <sighs> you've got to pretty well go up again. And even if I carried on Coleridge's walk, I still would have been up and down. <sighs> Not as if I didn't want to do it, but I want, I'm exploring. <sighs> I need to look at the other routes. And uh, obviously I'm going up again. Up and up and up. As you know, I was right up there earlier. It's a bit misty, it's, it's getting closer. Um, see if I, that's a college walk, I would have gone down, then gone up over there. This is quite a busy track, you can see how wide it is. You can see when they're well used. bees are very interested. What I tend to do now is uh, just keep walking and they tend to leave you alone. They don't like it when you stop. But I've got to stop now because I've got to get my breath back. Right, over and out for a minute everyone. <sighs> 